Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, early on Thursday morning about 7 o'clock. Hope you're going to have a great day. Hope you have spent some time with the Lord or you're planning on doing that. Hope that would be a good thing for you to start your day out today. You know, the disciples were fishermen, several of them. They were very accustomed to the water. They were very accustomed to what the water brought. But there was a couple times in the life of Jesus that he was with the disciples on the boat. Well, some problems came out. In Mark chapter 4, there's an, uh, an incident where the storm was great and all the stuff began to come around. And then in Matthew chapter 14 is the other account of the disciples on the water. Matthew 14 is where Jesus walked on the water and came out to the disciples when the storm was great. And Peter saw him. You remember the story. Well, that story tells us that Jesus, uh, if you look at the original translation, Jesus was going to pass by them. But they cried out to him, thinking perhaps he was a spirit. And he came to them, and the boat settled. Mark chapter 4 is a very dramatic passage, however. It's the first encounter they had with Jesus on the water. The Bible says that Jesus got on the boat and went to sleep. And when the storm came, the fishermen tried their best. They were experienced mariners. They knew how to fight the storm. But this storm was different. This storm was great. This storm was challenging in their life. They really couldn't deal with it at all. It's in the latter part of the fourth chapter of Mark. You need to read it because the disciples in this storm got panicky and they didn't know what to do. So they came and woke up Jesus. And most people have considered that Simon Peter, being the spokesman of the group, asked the great question listed in Mark chapter 4, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Have you ever said that? In the storms of life and the things that you're familiar with, because the disciples were very familiar with the water, they were very familiar with the storm, but yet they couldn't manage the storm that they were familiar with. What about you? What about things going on in your life that you can't manage? Have you ever said, Master, don't you care? That's what Peter said. That's what the disciples agreed upon. Surely this man could help us in this storm. Maybe you've said that. Maybe you've said, God, surely you can help me in this storm. But yet thinking, because there's no reaction, no response, that he doesn't care. You know, sometimes our situations dictate our emotions. And that's very important to understand because it's very challenging when that happens. Our situation should never dictate our emotions. Our faith should always control our emotions. And as a result of this situation, the disciples are there and they're panicking. They're seasoned mariners. They know how to deal with the water. But this storm was different. Maybe you've been through some things in your life and you've handled some rough stuff, but now maybe you're going through something totally different and you can't find Jesus. Or you feel like maybe he's asleep on the job. Well, the disciples come and wake him up and they say that great word, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Jesus got up, the Bible says, and he calmed the storm and he settled the sea. Well, that's what he does in our lives and he loves us enough to do it. Have you ever wondered if God loves you? Because of what you're going through, the challenges you have, have you ever wondered, God, do you really love me? Do you really care? Well, in most cases, the answer would be yes. If we would be honest, we wouldn't want to get on the church and shout that out, or we wouldn't want to get in the pulpit or the pew and shout it out because somebody would say, wow, you have no faith. But sometimes, with what we go through, we feel, Lord, don't you care? Well, Simon did that. And the Lord calmed the sea, and he settled everything down, and everything got all right. Many years later in Simon Peter's life, as he had lived for the Lord and served the Lord, and many years had passed, and he is now an old man. He writes to us some important words in the epistles of Peter, First and Second Peter. He writes to us in First Peter chapter 5 and verse number 7. He tells us an encouraging word. This old sea veteran, this old sea dog, said to us, cast your cares on him, for he cares for you. Simon Peter is a young fisherman, cried out to the Lord, Master, don't you care? This storm is about to take us over. As a wise veteran of the Lord and of the sea, he reminded us in his later years, you can take your cares and you can cast them on him because he cares for you. Whatever you're going through today, whatever storm you're facing, whatever deal's going on in your life, let me assure you of one thing. You can take your cares and cast on Jesus, for he cares for you. You may not 
really believe that entirely because you may have been calling on him. And you feel like maybe he's been asleep. But the Bible says, He that watches over Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Jesus is aware of your situation. And if you'll stay faithful at the right time, you'll calm the storm. You'll settle the sea. Sometimes we really feel like he doesn't care. But beloved, I promise you by the word of God, he cares for you. So be of good cheer today. God already is on your side. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.